A once in a lifetime opportunity for New Mexicans, a chance to look at some works of art from some of the most prominent names in modern art. News 13's Jackie Kent joins us with a look. Well, Kim, this exhibit called When Modern Was Contemporary is pretty spectacular. You'd normally have to travel thousands of miles to New York to see these post war abstract paintings. These are things that you only see in art history books. Jackson Pollock's number eight, Willem de Kooning's Marilyn Monroe, Georgia O'Keeffe's Lake George by Early Moonrise. These uh, works form the sort of heart of the Roy Newberger collection. And while the museum at the State University of New York is under construction, Newberger's When Modern Was Contemporary exhibition is traveling the country with a stop here in Albuquerque through December. The exhibition takes you through the late financier Roy Newberger's collection. It started in the 1940s as the art center shifted from Paris to New York. He bought most of these paintings within a year or two of the time that they were created from artists who um, were not yet rich and famous. Making this collection, the curator says, the most important collection of modern art by the 1950s. This is a spectacular collection. To think this is a private collection. And it's a rare opportunity for the museum, which says it's been able to draw in more visitors and students. And while there may never be another with as many prominent artists as this one, the curator hopes to bring in more traveling exhibits. The curator says many of these works, if sold at auction, could go for hundreds of millions of dollars. So as you can imagine, this museum has double the security it usually does for these exhibits. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jackie. Now you can get your tickets online. The exhibition of 50 famous paintings runs through December 31st. The Carlsbad Cape